Good morning, America. Uh, Steve Eisen here. It's June 1st, Friday, here in Casey, South Carolina, in, in the Midlands of South Carolina. It's a beautiful day in South Carolina. At least there's a lot of political activity going on. And with us this morning is Dee Dee Bodder. She's running for District 26 for Senate here in South Carolina. Dee Dee's a very conservative candidate, and she's going to give us a, a short presentation. She's been here before, but there's always things changing in the political landscape of South Carolina. Dee Dee, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for coming Good back. Good to be here. And, uh, so you'll see our presentation in just a few minutes. Anytime you're coming through South Carolina, feel free to come by Shomley's here next to the airport. And it's always an interesting discussion. This is a nonpartisan group that's been around for over 25 years. And we have, we, we just started something called speech time. So from 7 o'clock through 7.35, or 7.05 through 7.35, we have speeches. Past that time, we'll just have the individual conversation. So come by, relax, enjoy, cup of coffee, and breakfast every Friday morning here in the center part of South Carolina, one of the most beautiful parts of South Carolina, in the Casey Metro area, five minutes from downtown Columbia. Until next week, Steve Eisen signing off. We've got something called speech time now here at the Casey Mafia. It's 7.05 to 7.35. That's the only time we have presentations of speeches. After that, everyone has a general conversation. But with us today is Dee Dee Ballers. Dee Dee's going to give us a, a message about her run for Senate. Dee Dee, yep. give us a short, brief uh, discussion of reasons why we should vote for you for Senate. <laughs> well, I um, first of all, I didn't anticipate actually being part of speech time this morning. <laughs> um, for those of you who follow uh, the, you know, Ron Kelderman and the Casey Mafia videos, I have been on there several times, and the folks who have, are in the room have heard all this, so I don't want to bore them, but I do accuse, I do, um, I do say go back and look at some of the previous uh, videos. <laughs> Anything goes at Casey Mafia, you show up, you're the featured speaker, your name's on the marquee. We look for ketchup in the middle of presentation, so anything happens. But uh, two quick things. Uh, one's a big announcement, um, and I actually, he doesn't know he's going to have to come up either, but I would like to introduce our basically field operations director for West Columbia, and Bill Rentiers has joined my campaign. Um, Bill is going to be running the West Columbia office, which is now at 412, 412? Moffitt Street. And so that is a new... Let's give Bill a round of applause, folks. Yeah. It was very, and see, I'm thrilled. This is Bill. Hi, Bill. Donations yes. at dd4senate.com. Call me to volunteer, 803-399-0784. We need you to help with phone banking, canvassing, uh, and any donations as small as $20. That's, every bit helps. Thank you. I'm thrilled to have Bill on board. I really needed to open up. This is a very gerrymandered, crescent-shaped district. If you look at it on a map, it's bits and pieces of four counties. It is a lot of territory. So I'm maintaining a campaign office now in Aiken and one in West Columbia. So that be either end of the district that folks that I yeah. hope to represent can know a place they can go to volunteer to pick up signs or any of the of the campaign material they need. So that's why I wanted to thank Bill. He's going to do a fantastic job. I mean, Bill has a wonderful reputation, which is why I called him and said, please, what can I do, Bill, to have you come on board and help me? And so he's going to do just a great job. I'm thrilled. Uh, briefly, the only update I have on my platform versus anything I've offered before is since I was last year, we've had this whole ballot debacle in South Carolina. America, if you're watching, you need to figure out what's going on in South Carolina because it was nothing short of corrupt. And that's one of the reasons I'm running for governor. I mean, for um, for governor, yeah, for, for senator, uh, for government. For, and like I said, senator. Again, didn't expect to be speaking this morning and haven't finished my Diet Coke. But um, no, seriously, um, what we faced here was nothing short, in my opinion, of corrupt. It's good old boy politics at its finest or worst, as the case may be. And so I really believe that one of the ways we can solve this moving forward is to change the way the Supreme Court and judges in general are appointed in this state. We have what is known as a legislative state in South Carolina. I don't think until this recent ballot debacle that people understood what that meant and why that was necessarily a bad thing. When you have the three branches of government, like at the federal level, 
where they exist as a balance of power. That was divine. I mean, you think about that, our forefathers knew exactly what they were doing. At the state level, we don't have three branches of government essentially that do checks and balances. When you have a legislative branch that appoints the judicial branch, that is not a balance of power. And we need to move towards a true balance of power. When you have one branch that makes the laws and they appoint those that enforce and interpret the laws, you're subject to exactly what we saw happen here in South Carolina, which are good candidates basically kicked off the ballot for tyrannical purposes, and it is unacceptable. I am going to be pushing for us to either, and I'm fine with either, and I'm open to discussion, and I hope maybe that will be the discussion today at Casey Mafia. We could either, one, have the governor appoint with advice and consent, as it's done at the federal level, or we can elect as they do in Texas. Either option is better than what we have now, and I'm open to debate and discussion about that. So I wanted to go on the record today with that as one platform change. Actually, it's always been on my website. If you look under issues, that hasn't changed. It's just now become more of a topic because of what has recently happened. So it's going to be a focus of mine moving forward. I'm going to continue to push for the dissolution of the other fund. And I so want um, your support on June 12th. I need your vote. As Bill said, I need your money. When you're running against a 36-year incumbent who starts with $175,000 in the bank, you have to have money to be able to participate. That's what it's about. Check out my website, uh, www.ddforsenate.com. And then you'll also see my cell phone number, and you'll see my email address on there. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly. Thank you. Thank you, D.D. Give Murphy a call.